Hello, ladies and gentlemen. So today is going to be a quick video about what is in the news. And, you know, I'm really happy and excited to share this news. I know this news brings a lot of people a lot of hope and joy in being able to begin to look forward to the future. But before I get into the big news of the week, I want to remind you to take a quick moment and to click the subscribe button and definitely click the like button. This news is actually really promising and really exciting news. So without further delay, let's get into it. So CNBC actually came out with a really great and inspiring article where they talked about the pandemic could end in 2022 and they then proceed to talk about what normal life might look like. And the article basically discusses how experts are saying that this whole pandemic is likely to end sometime in 2022. And part of that is because there have been massive efforts to inoculate globally billions of people. And there's also new antivirus treatment that's coming out in the form of pills. And so they're expecting that next year they will make antiviral COVID pills available to the public and available in mass. And this article also identifies the pandemic period sort of coming to an end and COVID becoming more of what they call an endemic, which basically means that the severity of it will fade, but it'll likely kind of flare up at during certain times or certain points during the year, kind of like what we experience when it comes to flu season. You have times during the fall and winter months where you will get spikes in people getting the flu. They're saying that because of the vaccinations, because of the antiviral pills that they're set to release, all of the different treatment options people will have, that it is likely uh, going to become more of a seasonal thing so people can kind of expect cases to spike at different points in different times of the year. And so that is actually very promising news. We're entering a phase now where if you're not able to see a light at the end of the tunnel, hopefully this news will give you uh, a resounding signal of hope. We'll also say there have been several hearings that have been taking place in uh, the nation's capital or with the airline carriers. A couple of the CEOs of American Airlines and also the CEO of Southwest Airlines who basically were on record and they tried to walk back their statements, but they were basically on record saying that they don't really think it's necessary for people to wear masks on the planes. That set them up for a bit of criticism to be honest, because right now there is a federal mandate that says that if you're on a flight, you must wear your mask. And that is a mandate that we all have to abide by, which, you know, who knows when that federal mandate will fade away. But very promising news. Now, when it comes to life after the pandemic, in addition to COVID becoming more seasonal, Experts also believe normal life will be more likely to reflect several different actions people can expect to become the norm. These actions are likely to be that when you are sick, you'll be advised to keep wearing your mask and stay at home. COVID tests are also expected to become more affordable and more accessible. Some estimate costs to get a test could be as much as $20 a pop. Also, more kids will be able to get vaccinated against COVID. They're really gonna push children getting vaccinated. And they're saying primarily children ages five to 11. They're also expecting that annual COVID boosters will become more of a reality. And so it's very interesting because one thing that I've noticed, even in my local area, we had all of these COVID testing 
facilities that you had access to if you needed to go in and get tested or get quick results letting you know whether or not you've actually caught COVID. I'm in a major American city and I have to say that the COVID testing locations have slowly but surely disappeared. You have to really look now to figure out where you need to go to get tests. They're still available and they're still accessible, but they're not available and as easily accessible as they once were. This really does indicate that the momentum is moving towards getting us back to our normal, regular, everyday lives, which is exciting for those of you who love to travel. We are gearing up for our trips in 2022. Also, we are opening up our trip to Brazil for 2023. You guys definitely want to take advantage of booking early. All of these are great indicators that now is the time to start thinking about life beyond COVID and getting back to normal. Thank you guys for listening and until next time.